how do we take this basic shit that we know mm. and put it in the hands of the everyday grappler? As many people as possible. So that... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bulletproof for BJJ podcast. My friends, sometimes you're driving your car and the windscreen is filthy, but it's not raining. And you're like, oh, I don't want to put the windscreen wipers on. And then you see a dude. There's a dude, you're not sure, is he homeless, is he a junkie? But he's got a vibe. Dancing around, he's twirling his, his window cleaner and he's like, hey bro, you want me to clean your window? And you're like, oh, I don't know. But then he starts doing a really good job. You're like, dang, this guy's good with it. He's working it, he's squirting detergent, real pro. You're like, wow. And then you find out the guy, he's, he's, he's even got music in his ears. He's moving, you're like, I like this vibe. He cleaned my window really good. And you like, you look down, you're like, I got some change. I could give this guy some change. And you give him some change. And the interaction's great. Guy's like, thanks bro, I really appreciate it. Have a nice day. You're like, wow, that was really cool. That's, that's like a really nice vibe. Now, what could have kind of wrecked that vibe is if you just were like, cheers, bro, and didn't give him any change. That would have been, you would have shortchanged him, which would have been unfair. Dog move. Yeah. And so what we like to think of ourselves is that we like to clean the window for you so you get a clearer view on your jujitsu. And what we would love is that once we've cleared the way for your good vision so you can drive forward with confidence, is that you would give us that change in the shape of a like, a subscribe, and even a follow, a follow. That would help us so we can keep dancing and grooving and doing good work for other people like you. So please, like, subscribe, follow, and give us a five-star rating. We love you. Oh, that's fire. Bruh. I, I came up with that because I, I, I had that experience. Did you? Yeah, there was this guy. He was just vibing. He was at, he, we were at the lights and... He, yeah, he was. A, you couldn't spoil the guy's day. It was really interesting. He yeah. started cleaning your space. He's just like, I'm cleaning this shit. Yeah, he's, and I was just like, Oh, what's going on, man? He's like, Yeah, it's good, man. Sun's out. You know, it was, it was, it was actually like a cool interaction. And I was stoked. I had a fair bit of change. So I just cleaned out the change drawer, and I just went, There you go, bro. And he was, he was so pleased. Wow. It was, it was just a good human interaction. I had a guy the other day, same thing, came through. In my car, you can't, you can't lift the windscreen wipers up. Oh. It's a you do it on the inside. Oh, it's fixed, right? And when you do that, you actually scrape the bonnet, like you, f oh, you jam no. it into the bonnet. Oh, and no. so I'm just a default, like no, 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 don't f come near it, kind of yeah. thing. And the guy was like, and I was like, no, nah, mate. And then he kept walking, and I was watching the guy, and I was like, and then I looked, and I was like, fuck, I got plenty of change here. And then I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I'd love to give that guy something, you know? Yeah. And then he came, he was walking back down the footpath. No one had engaged him, and then I went down the wheel. And I was like, hey, brother. And I like flicked a couple of coins out. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my guy. Nice, yeah. Because it, it is a it is a human thing that you 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 benefit from doing something good for someone else. You like do it, it feels good to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So in that way, it's it's almost a selfish act, but <laughs> but you spread the love. Now, my friends, you may or may not be aware that at Bulletproof for BJJ, we have this thing called the Academy subscription. This is where we connect with BJJ gyms. And we, we have a chat to the owner and the head coach and we say, hey, do you want to connect your students with this? And then the gym on your behalf will, will pay us and then that then gives access to the students. And that's cool. Like that's a nice thing to do. And, you know, depending on the situation, they will maybe pair it with the membership or they've got a different way. Like every, every gym is different and so they engage with it differently. But what's nice and what I've seen more recently is more and more gyms have been doing it. So I wanted to actually talk about what is this thing. So we work with a lot of individuals, but more recently have been working with gyms to help, help them with the side of the business they may not have time to do, which is looking after the kind of S&C and the, the injuries and the, the, the stretching and all the other bits and pieces, which maybe you don't necessarily have time for as a gym owner or head coach because you're teaching three classes a day and all that. Yeah. We, um, our mission from the beginning was to have an impact on the jiu-jitsu culture. To yes. teach people how to look after themselves, simple strategies they could use to build a body that allows them to keep enjoying jiu-jitsu. Yeah. And we were like, well, how do we get this thing out to as many people as possible? Obviously, it's our business and we want to be successful from that perspective. But what's always driven it is like, how do we – take this basic shit that we know mm. and put it in the hands of the everyday grappler. As many people as possible. So that they don't have to get forced out due to injury like everybody so else. So many people. Yeah. So many people. And so, yeah, the academy subscription was like, well, if we can get an academy to join that, then we instantly connect with 
all of their students. So many more people. Yeah. And it's like way easier for us to have the impact. And like you said, the beauty is, is that the stuff that the gym owner usually doesn't have time to do, which is talk to their students about how to look after themselves, teach them some stretches that are going to help, run a cool down because yep. you know coach has got to run the next class and you Clean want to do an extra rounds so it's like all that i don't have time for that so all that stuff even managing injuries right it's yeah. like if the coach has got 25 people showing up to class and then 20 people for the next one sure they can have some interaction with each of the students but if it's going to take a bit of time to it's like they can't really get into it in the way that they would like to i'm sure and so the beauty is is that yeah we that's what we do right that's what our product is yeah it's like we we help on the show, we talk about how you can get healthy for jiu-jitsu and practices that you want to have as part of your day-to-day so that you can be in the best possible shape to train. And this is whether you're an athlete or just the everyday jiu-jitsu hobbyist. One of those habits is using electrolytes. We've spoken about this on other episodes and electrolytes, although incredibly simple, are one of the missing links for people when it comes to performance. And the beauty of electrolytes is that they allow us to be hydrated. So we're talking about salt, potassium, and magnesium. Now, Today's show is actually brought to you by Sodi, and this is a crew that we've been partnered with now. We are using Sodi on a daily basis, and the beauty of what these guys do, this little Australian company, is that they put in a beautiful mix of salt, potassium, and magnesium, and delicious flavors. You punch it in some water, I throw it into a protein shaker, I put one or two of these bad boys in there, and I drink it before, during, and after training. I just sip on that thing, and I tell you what, my hydration levels feel better than ever before, and it's delicious. Sometimes I use it first thing in the morning. I even pumped one last night because I felt a little bit parched after dinner. So go check out Sodi, Sodi, S-O-D-I-I dot com dot A-U and use the code Bulletproof15 and you will get 15% off your order. Get hydrated, get Sodi. Help people deal with this shit. We show them how to train. We teach them the shit. Yeah. And so it's like, well, let us do that for your academy. And, and I think the other thing is this, that I guess we've become more aware of it ourselves as having more friends who have gyms we see their challenges right and it's the same as you'd probably see it joe we when you have more friends who have kids you talk about what it's like raising kids when you when you become a parent and so i think i even though i don't have kids yet i have learned a lot from hearing my friends talk about raising their children and what they're going through to do that having an academy is like having a family you're raising these people up in jiu-jitsu and there's so many specific challenges you face and i i think at least from my own perspective i'm like we can help like i think we can get in there and we can we can help you we got you for this so one of the huge challenges i think a lot of gyms face and individuals face is injury time off and then what it takes to get back like putting memberships on hold which, you know, and then maybe if you're not, if you don't keep a connection to the gym, there's every chance you're probably going to cancel. Yeah. Like if you've got a serious injury or maybe it's not even serious, you're just out of the habit. And then you're not at the gym. It is such hard work for a gym to get a new member. The ability to be able to just keep them, like just retain them, is so beneficial. So what I feel we can do is we're kind of like the roadside assistance. You break down. We're there, we're like, hey, you need some help with that? Tell you what, this is where you get a spare tire. And actually, we got a spare tire. We'll give you one. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, also, you better check your oil. You should go to your mechanic, your physio, go get that checked. You know, and we give you that direction. Whereas your coach is too busy worried about like who's gonna coach the kids' like, class. Oh, just put ice on it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're just they're, they're trying to do whatever they can. And that's that's no slight against the gym owner. Their responsibilities are massive. So we come in as the help team yeah. around that to try and give you the individual the help. And uh, I, I think the way that we also do that is through our community. Because that's something that's taken us time to build, right? Yeah, just on that piece, like that retention thing is huge. Like gyms run on teaching people jujitsu, right? But got to remember it's like your the students paying memberships is the lifeblood of the business yes and if you have like people coming in having a great time but then dropping off Mm. because you don't have a good system around helping them through some of those struggles and you know dealing with injury and making sure they get then you lose those people so you might be doing an okay job of bringing new people in but you lose them at the back end yeah and this is generally a jiu-jitsu gym that is just always getting by yes Versus you look at the ones that are crushing it and they keep these are the ones that have a really good system for bringing people in and a good system for keeping them. Keeping them. And it's like, 
if we can help you keep those people and them know how to navigate the injury and it just means that you can like focus on your side of that deal which is running amazing classes, letting the students know you're there for them, mm. um, you know, meeting with the new members, making sure they're getting introduced to the program. Like, it's a really nice way of just closing up a lot of those gaps that I think a lot of jiu-jitsu gyms probably know they have, but have, like, never it's hard sat to down ad- and identified and been like, I need to do something about that. It's hard to address. Yeah. Like, it takes – it's hard to – like, if you are full-time in the business – it's hard for you to step back and work on the business. Yeah. Which I think all small business owners or any business owner faces as a problem, right? For sure. You need staff and help. But the other thing too is staying connected with your community. What we do with Bulletproof is, and I think we've benefited from this in our own community, that people come through as like super community members. Like Raylene is a great example of that. And we have a few other people in our group who are like top contributors who someone puts a question, they respond quicker than we do. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they just jump in and like, hey, dude, look, when you're on cycle two of the kettlebell workout, you need to do it this way. And I'm like, wow, I just, I feel like a third wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I, I jump in late in the comments and I'm like, look, uh, Roger actually said that really well. That's, uh, just, yeah, do what Roger said. That's great. But that's cool because it's like having that really great purple belt who takes the kids class, who can also help you out yeah. in the main class. Like, they jump in. They've had experience. They know how to do it. So what is great in our Facebook community is we have those people who will just jump in and help you out straight away. If you've got a question about the program or maybe you're just like, oh, I'm nervous about getting ready for my first comp. We've got like a motivation for BJJ group, which people have been sharing a lot of their first comp experiences in there. Yeah. So if you're – maybe, you you know, you haven't connected with someone at your gym, you could definitely connect with someone in our group. Yeah. And that's another great way to stay connected – because actually I was ch- chatting to uh, a gentleman who uh, had bulged a disc and he was in a lot of pain, getting shooting pain down his leg and he couldn't train, but he was, at, he was at the gym watching. And he's like, yeah, man, it's hard to stay connected because I can't sleep, I can't this, I can't that. And I think when you get injured, you feel isolated. But what we do with our program is we keep you connected with doing something positive for your body with a vision to get back to the mat. Sometimes it can be hard to see your path. But if you've got people around you just giving you a bit of encouragement, a bit of direction, you know, maybe it's not because your coach doesn't care. It's just maybe your coach doesn't know and that you need more than their help to get right. So whether it's a physio or a massage therapist or even someone who's like, yeah, bro, I broke my nose before I had a deviated septum. I went and saw a specialist and they did this. And you're like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And that really helps. Like just having that one little nugget of knowledge can help you take the step to get you back on the mats. And that is what we're all about is helping injured jiu-jitsu people get back and come back stronger. I think that's that's how I feel it it works. I'm excited. Why is that? We have an apparel sponsor, Parry Athletic. Such good gear and it's incredible. I've, I've been enjoying it. Bro, George came through, messaged us on the Instagram, said he's been following our program for ages. He's getting stronger and more mobile. And he's got this cool gear company called Parry and he wants to send us some stuff. And he told me that his mission was to create the best pair of training shorts ever. Yeah, he wanted something that he could lift and roll in and that could accommodate thick muscular thighs and hips. And that suits us. Speaks to us. Also, what I like is I love the colorful design. It's, it actually looks really cool. I am the most colorful dude on the mats these days, hands down. Yeah, you get that kind of expression feel. A lot of other jiu-jitsu gear is kind of a bit boring. Yeah, it's like all like greys and blacks and shit. This stuff is the color and the vibrancy. It makes you stand out. And uh, I think the thing that I've loved about it is just it feels good. It feels good. It looks good. And you, ladies and gentlemen, can get a discount when you go to check out. If you go to parryathletics.com, when you go to check out, Put in the code BULLETPROOF20 and you get 20% off. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the community there is super strong. Like for those that choose to lean on it, because not everyone needs that. Yep. But for those that need it, who maybe aren't getting that part from their gym or train at a really small academy or whatever, they have this place where they can ask those questions and it's, it's pretty special like that. People share like all sorts of shit. Yeah. That really, you know, like – certain concerns maybe that they don't have the ability to bring up at their gym. Yeah. You know, and it's, you can have that conversation there. And also when you're new to jujitsu, um, I think at least from the gym owner's perspective, you get a new person coming in, you know, you're worried about them having 
a uniform and being being there on time and learning some of the social norms of jujitsu, you're not even thinking about oh this person needs to have a stretching routine or this person needs to do workouts. You know it. Like you're like, man, I wish this person was a beast athlete, but you're too concerned about them having a good experience at your gym, which is what you should be focused on. We take care of that for you. You know, we take that guesswork out. We've worked with over 10,000 jiu-jitsu athletes. We know what is effective for jiu-jitsu, so you don't have to think about it. You, the gym owner, don't have to think about it, and also you, the individual, you're like, oh, I just jump in the app. The accountability is there. I can log my jiu-jitsu, do the workout. Boom. It's all there for you. And we've put a lot of time and energy into that so that you don't have to like waste time thinking about it. It's done for you. Just get about it. So just quickly, what are a couple of the main use cases that gyms would use the Academy subscription in? <laughs> I, I think that the two major use cases I've seen is one, the gym goes, right, or the gym owner says, I just love this. I just want my people to do it. So they just, they, they subscribe and then they just include it with memberships, like in a complimentary fashion. So all their members just get access to Bulletproof, complete access and don't pay a thing. Yeah. Whereas other gyms use it to add value to um, their membership because they might have different tiers of membership. So they might have like a, you know, they, you know, like they might have a premium. And so therefore people who as an incentive, if like you, they have extra facilities or whatever going on, they will add Bulletproof to that. And then actually there's a third case where the, the gym will charge like a little supplementary fee to have access, which isn't much. It's way cheaper than individually subscribing, but then that way it just... Way for the gym to make more revenue. Yeah, and that it, it helps them in that way. Yeah. So I, I think it is a win for the gyms as well as a being a win for the students. And, and really what makes me happy is connecting with more people in jiu-jitsu. And that's really the major... Because I actually had a guy the other day go, hang on, this is too cheap. Like, you should charge more. Like, what's in it for you guys? I'm like, no, like, what's in it for us is that we, we get to help more people. That's what we're about. That's why we're doing this thing. And, yeah, we want to make it that the tribe of jiu-jitsu has a bigger tribe or a, there's a, a more macro tribe, which is people all over the world connecting with the problems faced by jiu-jitsu people and having the tools to solve those problems. I think that's where I feel it fits. But yeah, look, if you guys want to know more about the Academy subscription, we will put a link down below and then you will be able to find out more. So if you're a gym owner and you're keen to connect with the Academy subscription, click the link below. If you're somebody here in this and you think, oh man, my coach would really like this or my gym could benefit from this, you can share this episode with them. And if you want to just reach out to us and find out more, always happy to help. Awesome. Thank you, guys. See you, fam.